Hello and welcome back to another vlog. I'm currently sat outside in the car because I'm waiting to go in for my Botox appointment. It's actually that time of year where I've just been feeling... Do you know when you get that winter ugly feeling? I've been seeing it all over TikTok and I thought, you know what? It is actually a thing. I've been feeling some type of way and I was actually due my appointment a couple of weeks ago. So I'm here, I'm booked in with Sophie and I really can't wait. So I'm gonna take you guys in with me and we'll see what she's gonna do to my face. Okay, I'm inside now, I'm with Sophie and she's just assessed my face and put some little lines where she's gonna be injecting. And basically I'm gonna have Botox in my forehead and maybe some in the corner of my eyes to give them a little bit of a lift. And then I thought I needed jaw filler, but I actually need cheek filler. But I'll let Sophie explain that. And then I'm getting a little bit in my chin and lips just as a little top up, but nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, Sophie's here. Hi guys. Um, so we've just done a room's facial assessment and essentially we just want to keep her looking really refined, really natural um, and just nice and kind of like rejuvenated and lifted. So Erin mentioned about having a little bit in a jawline um, just to keep it looking super sharp, but actually she doesn't need that today. And we have to be careful with a female jawline that we don't increase the width um, too much because it can make people look a little bit masculine. Um, and Erin currently has really nice lifted cheekbones, but when she smiles, she does have a couple of areas where she's a little bit flat and this is very common. It tends to be where the cheek hits the pillow um, when you go to sleep at night. So we're just gonna add a tiny little bit of product just to kind of soften that area of flatness and it'll just keep it nice and um, lifted. So yeah. I'm so excited. I'm gonna film all of it for you and yeah, hopefully you guys, if you're thinking about getting it done, then this is your sign. <laughs> so this is just a little bit of numbing cream. It's just gonna go everywhere. I can never feel a thing when this goes on. Yeah, the cream is actually really, really good actually. And we will just do a tiny little lift in your top lip, just to keep it looking really hydrated and um, lifted. So if you just open your mouth for me. I look crazy right now, but it's all gonna be worth it. <laughs> okay, shots, I'll just shots. close my eyes. Yeah, speak to you one deep breath. Perfect. I think I've like licked some of this um, numbing cream because like <laughs> my tongue feels really weird. Oh my gosh, it is. actually tastes awful. Mm. They look so good, but they're gonna go down, aren't they? <laughs> they will go down a little bit, yeah. Um, but I do think you'll love them because they will just be just a little bit more lifted and I think that's all you really needed just to kind of get your top to bottom lip kind of ratio in proportion because your bottom lip was just slightly bigger. Mm -hmm. So, smile for me as well as you can. Big, big, big smile, really crease your eyes up. And relax. Okay, right, really frown for me. Okay, and relax. Okay, really raise your brows. And relax, perfect. So we'll create a lateral brow lift. Mm -hmm just it open this kind of part of the eye um, and it just looks really kind of refreshing and just makes you look a little bit fierce really. Yeah, um, I think you did that the last time I left here because I had an event that I went to and those images looked amazing and I was like, is that the makeup that I've done different? Yeah. I don't know what it was, but. Yeah, I think when you just create a little bit of lift on the brow, it just yeah. gives a real like feline kind of face appearance, but it just, it's very feminizing um, and it opens the eye so it'll just, Lift that slightly, yeah. so really frown for me. Okay, okay, fix and relax. So I'll do just a tiny amount into the tail of the brow, just mm -hmm. to help to create a little bit more lift. Do you just one here. And how often should I get this done? Because I get reminders and I feel like I never come at the right yeah. time. I like wait longer because I can't. So, Botox itself, actually it only has a chemical action for approximately three to four months 
but the long lasting effects that you see from Botox is due to the muscle shrinkage. Um, so some people can find that Botox can actually last them for around six to nine months. I get a client that literally just comes once a year for it. Oh wow. Um, and it's to do with the fact that we've managed to shrink the muscle mm -hmm. um, during the time that she's had the treatment done. Yeah. And so our lines don't come back anywhere near as deep. Um, so I would say for you, I would say probably every six months really. Okay. Um, and in a sense, Botox is working preventatively so it stops the lines from getting deeper. Mm -hmm. um, so it just means that you're less likely to get kind of deep wrinkles yeah. in later life. Cool. <laughs> yep. I'm getting on a bit now. I'm 27 so I need to <laughs> take the, all these measures. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back in the car now. I know my lips might look a little bit crazy, but that's probably because I've still got that numbing cream on and they're slightly swollen. They will go down, so don't judge the poutiness of them. I don't know if I'm speaking properly. Like I feel like I'm talking, but my tongue is numb and so is my top lip, so I don't know. Oh, I just sound crazy, but that's me done. Had my top up, cheeks, chin, lips and Botox. I think it takes a couple of days for it to kick in but when it does I'm gonna look so snatched. I just feel like once I've left this appointment and I'm driving home I just feel like a new woman again. I don't know if that's a good thing that I'm relying on Botox or maybe it's just Sophie. Maybe I love seeing Sophie and as soon as I've left her I'm on a high but it's just yeah I've been coming to Sophie now for years and you guys will have seen on their social media it's um, Derma Plus or even on mine like I've always shared coming and getting Botox and filler done by Sophie for a long long time now it's the best place that I've ever been she's literally the best I've, like I've said in many other videos I've been to a few of their nurses and all of them are really really good but I just love coming to Sophie just because I love her and if I could see her all the time I absolutely would I mean she'd probably get sick of seeing me all the time but yeah I'm so I just mm, I feel so good now so what's up next I need to oh it's pancake day I completely forgot it was pancake day I really wanted pancakes for pancake day and I told myself this year I'm not gonna forget and I kind of did so I decided I'm gonna go to the shops pick up some bits that I need to make some pancakes and I'm gonna attempt to make some pancakes by myself I've never actually made pancakes by myself before I know they're not that difficult to make but I'm just not very good at like baking in general so I'm gonna nip to the shops do that and I was actually supposed to head into town to pick up um, a lash lift and eyebrow lamination kit which I ordered but the weather is so grim outside it's cold it's raining and I didn't bring a coat or a jacket so I think I might give that a miss for today and maybe go on the weekend but yeah I think for now I'm gonna head back home so I'm actually in like Sheffield which is an hour away from Leeds but I don't mind driving like I love sitting in the car and driving I've been listening to podcast life with Mariana and um, so I've just been listening to podcast driving got my heated seat on heated steering wheel and life is just good so I'm in a much better mood now that I've seen Sophie and got whatever I needed to do done to my face and yeah I'm gonna go home and have some pancakes so I'll see you guys soon we can be our true selves and we ideally are okay I've just pulled up to Tesco I'm just in the car park about to go in but the numbness has just worn off finally and I can talk properly and I feel like the lips aren't as swollen as I thought they'd be they're looking really really good no bruising as usual which is quite funny because I used to bruise quite a lot but so far so good I don't want to jinx myself but yeah got my little Wonder Woman shopping bag and I'm about to head in so let's go
just decided to take socks out for a little walk and she is not wanting to walk today she she literally just keeps stopping and i had to pick her up um but i think it's because she needed to go to the toilet she's done what she needed to do so hopefully she'll get a move on but by looking at her now she's she's fed up and that's like five minutes into the walk socks come on socks come on this way socks Hello, today is Valentine's Day, so it's the following day and I'm actually going out for dinner on Valentine's Day, which is really unusual for me because I honestly cannot remember the last time I went out for dinner on Valentine's Day. Josh has booked something for us, I don't know where we're going, don't really know what's going on, which makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable because I like being in control, but anyway, I'm trying to go with the flow. Also, I'll give you a quick update on my lips and stuff from yesterday. So as you can see, there's a little bit of bruising on my upper lip, but everything else is pretty much healed. I mean, obviously it's not healed. It takes a while and the Botox will take a few days to kick in, but everything is just looking so good. I just feel so much better and feel much more like myself, but yeah, that isn't anything that makeup can't cover. So let's get into it. I'm gonna quickly do my makeup. I did my eyes off camera, but quickly gonna do my base and we're gonna head out. So I think I've got maybe like 40, 45 minutes to get ready. So let's do this. Also, I got this cute little gift from Glossier today, but I just wanted to show you these cute little earrings, which I'm gonna pop in now because I think they are absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day. I did open them earlier um, and I was like, I have to wear these today. You guys know I love jewelry, especially mixed metals. Just look at how adorable these are. Oh, cute little bows and hearts. Oh my God, they're so perfect. So I'm just gonna pop these in and we're gonna do my base makeup. Here is the final result. I'm all ready. That makeup was very quick and easy to do. I love it when my base just looks so clean and simple. And I added a little bit of color to my lips, covered all the bruising. Don't want anyone to be seeing that. Actually, I don't really care to be honest. I went out earlier to take socks on a walk and I didn't have any makeup on. No one really cares to be honest. So yeah, this is the final look. So I'm just gonna quickly grab all my stuff together and head out to dinner. I'm really looking forward to where we're going. Any guesses? You guys might know. I don't know if he's told you guys but I have no idea where we're going so I'm gonna grab my coat and my bag and I'll see you guys there We're back and we're in the car now. We've just eaten a feast for about 20 people. Well, we didn't even finish it all. We've actually brought a doggy bag home with us. I don't know what it is, but we order way too much. Oh, well, I... Wait, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes, I know. Whenever I'm hungry and we're about to order food, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I can eat so much. And like I said in like the previous vlogs, like my eyes are way bigger than my stomach, so yeah. But we're not gonna waste. We're gonna have it for lunch tomorrow because I hate wasting food. Also, it was the first time I tried ramen. Um, 
not really. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure how I felt about it. Josh did really well. He pretty much finished it all. But what did you think about the place? Yeah, it was such a cool little find in Leeds. I was saying, we were walking back to the cows, like we never actually find like cute spots in Leeds because I don't know, I just don't like coming out in Leeds. It's really weird because I've been brought up here. It's not a place that I actually like to go out in because I'm always like out and about and I just prefer being out of town. But yeah, it was really cool. And the portions were huge. It reminded me of that sushi place that we went to in LA, which was like a hidden gem as well, I guess. But yeah, really good. And why this Valentine's? He never actually takes me out anywhere. And this was the first time he was like, get ready, I'm taking you somewhere. And I was like, oh, what's he up to? But yeah, what, what, why did you want to take me out today? This why, is weird. Why do I have to have a reason to No, take I enjoyed you out? it. I just, I just want to know. Everyone wants to know. But yeah, I don't know why. He's just being cute and romantic. And maybe it was because he wanted to get away from his mum and dad. <laughs> No, I, I don't, don't need know. an excuse to be romantic. I don't know. Okay. It was such a nice atmosphere as well. Obviously, everyone was out for Valentine's Day. There were so many little couples and they had a Valentine's menu. But you could tell who the new couples were and then there's just us ordering off the normal menu, pigging out in the corner. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice to get out and now we're heading back home to Socks. She's probably missing us as well. It's her first Valentine's Day as well and Josh bought her a little rose. And we'll have to like insert a little picture of her with a rose because it's so cute. She's not put it down. Yeah, she absolutely loves it, which is funny because I didn't know how she was going to react to it, but she has been chasing it around all over. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to get back to her. Also, how good is this lipstick? I haven't even touched it up once. I was eating, obviously. I had a, had a drink and nothing. It stayed on. You can't even see the bruising from my filler, which I'm really pleased about. Anyway, we're just in the car now on the way back home. Got a few minutes left to drive. So I'm going to close out this vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love taking you guys along with us. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. And happy Galentine's Day to all my girls out there let me know what you guys got up to whether you've gone out or whether you guys like to stay home like we usually do but on this occasion we obviously went out so yeah i hope you had a fab time and i'll see you guys in the next video but before i go don't forget to like and share and subscribe because every little interaction means the world to me and also helps my little channel grow see you later